Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial on how to create PDF documents and this one is going to be the most exciting tutorial in the series yet. So now we're going to learn everything about fonts, how to change the font family of a text, how to change the font size, how to change the font type, make it bold, make it italic, make it unaligned, strike through or maybe change the color of the fonts. So we're gonna do all of that amazing stuff in this tutorial. I hope you'll like it. It's going to be a bit longer, I guess, but at least at the end of the tutorial, we know everything about fonts. So I'll just go ahead and start off by creating a new class and I'll just go ahead and call it working with fonts. So you know, in 10, 10 20 years, we can look back and see this class that's called working with fonts and we know aha we created some fonts in this tutorial yeah that's basically the aim for this name uh, and let's import the most important classes so if you paid attention in the last couple of tutorials I hope you still know most of those imports so the first one is going to be the com.itextpdf.text.document and just go ahead and copy that uh, let's see four times and then the second uh, import is going to be the paragraph the third one okay the third one is going to be the new one this one this one is going to be the font so that's the main class we're going to talk about in this tutorial the font and then finally the, the last import is going to be the PDF dot uh, PDF writer okay and then last but not least to save everything on our hard drive let's import the java io dot file output stream okay so now that we have all our imports managed let's create our main method in our class so i'll just say public static void main string arcs curly braces open enter and then just go ahead and create your document i'll just call it doc equals to new document and then i guess now we get straight away to the fonts and i thought to make it easy to understand uh, let's create uh, many fonts and i thought maybe we could may uh, create an array of fonts so if you don't know what an array is it's basically like a bucket a drawer or a list use whatever term you prefer to do that you like so if you have for instance have a drawer with socks in it uh, you just replace the socks with the fonts and that's basically what we do with an array we just put stuff into one single uh, list type of thing okay so let's let's create the array uh, so to do that I'm just say font and then we need we need those kind of brackets and I'll just call the array fonts and then that equals to curly braces open enter and that means everything we have in those curly braces is going to be the font in our font array so we just can go ahead and just type in new font and that's perfectly fine so if we say that it's going to create a new font with the font family uh, helvetica and the font size 12 normal color black so that's basically what we saw first when we created a document uh, so i guess just for research purposes we'll just leave it like that and below that we just create a new font and maybe change something in it so we can say for instance um, font dot font family and then you can see the basic fonts we can change it to so we can change it to career helvetica symbol times roman uh, un undefined and something bad I I have never used that before. So those are the basic uh, fonts 
of course that's not very much uh, but if you know for instance other uh, other fonts like Arial you can just say value of and then the string of the name so like string, uh, Arial I'll just go ahead and use the all pre-made instances by starting with career and then we can just leave it like that and it's going to create a new font with the font family career but we can also create a second parameter so you rem remember when I told you that the font has the font size 12 well we can change that so we can say 18 now the font is going to have the size 18 pretty simple but we can also put in a third argument so the third one is going to be the uh, the text type so we can say that it should be bold or maybe italic or whatever you want to have it so we can say font dot I'll just go ahead and use bold and then we can leave it uh, like that as well <laughs> but we can also create a fourth parameter and for that we have to import something we, so the fourth parameter is going to be the color and to change the color we need to import the color from the itext library so we'll just say import com.itextpdf.text.base color and then as a fourth parameter in our font constructor we'll just say new base color and it's going to be or it's going to ask for three parameters so those three numbers is going to determine the RGB colors. I hope you have heard of them before. So RGB, everything you see on the screen is made out of three colors. So basically RGB, red, green, and blue. And so we can mix those colors ourselves. So, you know, if we want to have uh, some other color, we can, for instance, mix blue and uh, blue and green and we get cyan so you can do that and so just to make it simpler I'll put some comments in there so I'll say uh, red and just set it to zero and then uh, green is in there and blue is back there so right now it doesn't have any red it doesn't have any green and it doesn't have any blue so the color is going to be pretty much black. Uh, the highest no amount of num uh, or the highest number you can put in there is 255. Just if you wanted to do to know that. So if you put, for instance, red to 255, the text is going to be pretty much red. So just to start off, I'll just keep everything at zero. And now just for practice purposes, I want you yourself to create some fonts just to exper experiment with it, just to get used to it, you know, so you know you know pretty much everything about the font. So just go ahead and copy that a couple of times and I'll give you a couple of minutes just to change, you know, like the, the uh, basic font, the size, make it italic or maybe change the color so remember when you change the color the maximum number is 255 just so you know that so I give you five minutes to do some of that and then we'll meet again later okay I hope you're done so I've made my little list in here so one time I have career, Helvetica, symbol, times Roman, undefined, and Zephting bats. Uh, bats. I don't know. <laughs> Zephting bats. And then one time I have size 18, 7, 25, 14, 9, 30. So it goes all the way from 7 up to 30. And just to get some variety in here. And then one time I have it bold, italic, bold and italic, uh, normal. And then I have the strike through underlined. And then with the colors, I try to get some variety as well. So in here, I have a lot of red. 
there have a lot of green, there I have a lot of blue. There is pretty much everything of everything, which is going to be some gray, and that's just a little mixture I was coming up with. So this is my little, my little, uh, what would we say, collection of font. I hope I hope you have your own. And so now to create text with those fonts, let's just open up the document for it first. So I'll just just say doc.open and then we create our for, for loop. So I'll say for and then we go through each font. So I'll just say font font double point fonts. So this is an enhanced uh, for loop. So it just looks at the fonts and goes through each of those. And we start out Oh wait, let's actually uh, let's make a difference. So let's actually do it a little bit more expanded. So I'll say for int x equals to zero, x smaller than font dot length, x plus plus. So uh, the same as before, but now we have a number that just uh, goes through there, and we want to create a paragraph for each of the fonts. So we'll say doc dot add and we want to add a new paragraph and so in the paragraph we'll put the text in so uh, I'll just say as the text uh, this the font family is and then to get the font family from the font we have put in there we want to say uh, plus fonts and then in brackets x dot get family name and that gets us the family name of the uh, font family and then we'll just say the font size is and then we can also get the font size from the font by saying plus fonts brackets x dot get let's see get size yeah get size and then behind these uh, behi behind this one single text we can put in an another argument so we'll say comma and then oops didn't mean to do that and then behind that we can say which font we want to have for our documents. So we want to have the fonts X for our document. And it's going to throw us a document exception. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and make sure that that one is being caught somewhere somehow. So I'll just set it, set it in, in front of the document, uh, in front of the main method. So now that we have created a paragraph for each font let's just close the document again and now last but not least we have to save it in our hard drive so uh, let's do it in front of the doc.open uh, argument so we'll say pdf writer dot what was it get instance right so get instance of the document and save it to new file output stream and the file output stream is going to take one argument, which is going to be the name of our PDF document. And I'll just go ahead and call it fonts.pdf. And this is going to call a file not found exception. So we'll just go ahead and add the file not found exception as well. So this is our whole working with fonts class, which has created a bunch of fonts in here and just create some text for each of the fonts. So let's run that and let's see what it looks like. So now we have to refresh it and there it is. And there you go. This is my wonderful text. So there's the font family is unknown. I guess it's supposed to be Helvetica <laughs> and the font size is also kind of unknown. 
the font family is career the font size is 18 and then uh, over here we have the font family is Helvetica uh, with the size of 7 and then over here we can't understand a little bit because it's just symbols font family is times Roman the font size is 14 and then over oh, there we have unknown again and then we have 9.0 and there's some other symbols. All right, so this is our awesome Java program with which we can create different types of fonts for our PDF documents. Again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you understood everything I said. If I talked too fast, if I didn't explain something well enough, if you, for instance, didn't don't did not understand what those numbers mean just go ahead and tell me and i'll be happy to answer every question you tell me as soon as uh, well as long as i can understand those questions as well all right so thanks for watching <laughs>